So several weeks ago, Stephen and Shannon reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to officiate their special day. While I am not a man of the cloth, I am a man of God. I'm also a notary in the state of Florida. So I assure you that today's ceremony is totally legal, official, and binding. Today I stand before you sincerely honored and humbled to be here joining you all in this very special celebration. You guys ready to get married? Let's do this thing. All right. Steven, from the moment I met you, I knew I was in for the most amazing adventure. I used to think we met by chance, but I now know without a doubt that God put you in front of me. We have chosen each other and fought for each other. And today, and for the rest of my days, I will choose this amazing life with you. You are my strength, my home, and my best friend. My whole heart belongs to you. You encourage me love me unconditionally and always put me first. I finally get to talk to Stephen about the proposal. And Stephen said, once you had the rings, it's gonna be two weeks before he proposed. The boy lied to me. <laughs> he proposed the next week. I think he was just so excited and couldn't contain it anymore. But little did he know that I had my own plans. I was gonna make sure that they had dinner reservations, and whenever dessert came, there was gonna be two letters. I held on to those letters. So Shannon, Stephen, can I read you your letters? Shannon. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Congratulations. We have been talking about this day for so long and it's finally here. It's so easy to see how much Stephen loves you and cares for you. Time and time again, he has made you a priority. I'm so glad that God put Stephen in your life and I can't wait to celebrate y'all. All my love, Les. Stephen and Shannon, these rings publicly and symbolically seal your marriage vows. May these wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded by enduring love. I, Stephen, take you, Shannon, to be my wedded wife. I, Shannon, take you, Stephen, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This, this is my is solemn vow. endlessly aspire me and I'm forever grateful that God has chosen you for me. Thank you for always pushing me to be my best self. Every day you make it so clear my true worth and value. I'm so excited to finally be your wife and to experience everything in life with you. I love you always. Love SM, soon to be SW. Steven, welcome to our family. I know that Shannon can be loud, stubborn, and a handful, but thank you for loving my girl. I could have not asked for a better man for Shannon. If you didn't already know, Shannon loves you with all of her heart. She respects you and values your opinion. She supports you and she puts you first. She cares for you and I know she will create a beautiful life for you. I'm so glad that God brought y'all together. But just remember, no matter where y'all live, you better make sure I have a room. All my love, Les. Shannon and Steven, cheers to you. We love you. And now may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. 
and in the world to come, may you have life everlasting. Amen. Stephen, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Woodhill. We love you both very much. And Stephen, I will say this. As you know, that's my little girl. And we didn't think there'd ever be anybody good enough for her. But you changed that. Even after I told you I wasn't afraid to go back to prison. I wasn't afraid to show you all my weaponry. You've honored and respected and loved my daughter. And I know you always will. To Shannon and Stephen, may y'all have a long life of happiness and love. And we love y'all. And Good luck to both of you. Shannon's dog, Annie, instantly loved you. And you're the only guy she's ever had around that Annie didn't pee on. And I'm sorry to point that out, but it's true. And that's when I knew you were our guy. As a parent, the only thing I think you can hope for in a child is that they hope, grow up to be good people. Well, I think we have two great people here. We look forward to making memories with you all in our new neighborhood when you join us. Please raise a glass to the happy couple. May you have a blessed and wonderful life together.